Now let's get started. Okay, so we'll go and click uh, Flash Action Script 3 File, Create New. And this is going to be very quick and simple. So we'll go into the text field or on the main timeline and the first uh, on the only layer there in the first keyframe we'll highlight the text tool and we'll drag out a dynamic text field and we want it black that's good let's put it into place let's just give it an instance name of my text to keep it simple okay so that's where our information will render and let's make the height about 100 here okay perfect okay so now let's put this on the bottom now that has an instance name let's make a an actions layer and we'll just name this one text and on the actions layer let's go ahead and write ourselves a little comment here and we're going to set the variable name for the class path definition so claim var external file colon and let's use the name that's going to be our class name inside of the external file so let's just make it uh, my sample and that's what we'll make it in the in the external action script file and the reason why equals and we'll just put Adam in there for now and then one last line and that's it for for this side of things or for the SWF side of things here or inside the FLA so we'll say my text which is what we gave that dynamic text field we created on stage an instance name dot text equals external file so we can just grab this we're going to communicate with the external file here dot and whatever function we want to run on the my name variable so we'll type in the function name will be combine text and we haven't created it yet but that's the name we'll give it you'll see that in a second M Y N A M E so that's the my name variable it's gonna go right in there it's gonna get sent into the external file and so that's it basically for your uh, for this example is those three lines so now we're gonna create well let's go ahead and file save as save this main flash file on the desktop as uh, my no as3 dynamic external classes save it on the desktop okay now all I have to do is create a simple action script file to communicate with this main file okay let's go to file new action script file and let's type in the word package now let's nest it bring it down close the nest now inside of the package go down two lines type in public class this is going to be the main class here my sample because in our flash file right here we named it my sample so this script we're also going to name this whole file my sample now let's go ahead and nest this one off close it bring this one up a little bit and inside of the uh, the class we're going to need that function that we defined here it's called combined text and it's going to have that dynamic variable going into it so let's go ahead and copy this 
let's go down a couple of lines here type in public function give it the name and now here we're going to access the my name variable and by default we're going to give it a value of nothing by claiming two double by typing in two double quotes there so there's nothing in between them and then colon string curly brace and then let's go down and close this nest off for the function that curly brace there and let's just type in close function so we can see what we're doing real nice close class and right here it's close package okay now we're going to claim some variables inside the class for some uh, some text remember I told you we're going to dynamically render a sentence so text line one will be our first variable and this is a string and it's going to equal space knows how to make now the next one's going to be very similar which we'll see go down this is text line 2 control C and V control C and control V are copy and paste you guys know that and then uh, this one will be a different part of the se sentence this will be reusable dynamic uh, code files in flash so let's see we're going to need one more var here say var text combined let's make it a string variable and don't claim anything on it yet just, we'll just claim the variable but we won't give it a value just yet we're going to give it a value down here now we say text combined this is going to be so simple text combined equals my name so it's going to say Adam plus text line one plus text line 2 close it off with a semicolon and now the next line will just return text combined to the flash stage the main file now we can access that variable text combined and that's what we placed okay yep so when the external file to that text string this value of this uh, combined sentence so we return combined text and that is the value that gets placed inside where we're rendering out this text this dynamic text field here gets placed right there so we just claim external file and then the function name and then the function runs right here at this point and that's why we get that returned value and let's go ahead and save this as my sample so we'll go to file save as the desktop my sample save and let's see if this thing works and then maybe uh, we'll talk about it some more if it doesn't we'll see what we did wrong okay works fine this is in the browser when I pressed F12 to publish it says Adam knows how to make reusable dynamic code in flash files